it just flipped out a little guardie on the uh, on the circle hook and uh, hooked up. It's got a little bit of a deformed bill this one. Go. Just wake up, mate. Look at it go. Placed a uh, Department of uh, Fisheries New South Wales tank into this little black marlin. As I say, our, our fish aren't really that big along here, you know, the 25 to 40 kilo mark. So these are the ones that you really want to tag. Then you get the migration patterns and all that sort of stuff. Want to go close to 30, 40. Beautiful fish, solid as, huh? Oh, yes. Oh. Hi, I'm Cole Prince, and we're in my home port of Dampier in the northwest of Western Australia. In today's episode, we're going to try and show you that you don't need big boats and a big budget to chase sailfish and small black marlin. Most people think you need a big charter boat, outriggers, game chairs, all the fruit to be able to chase billfish. I'd like to tell you, you can do it out of a 15 footer and we're going to show you today. We're going to show you how to catch some sailfish, some of the rigs we use and hopefully we'll get a little black marlin or two. The area around here is like a lot of places in the northwest of Western Australia. It's uh, fairly shallow, 40, 50 metres is uh, about as deep as we get, but it holds a lot of bait fish. And as a result, we get a lot of sailfish and we're starting to find some really good marlin grounds out here as well. Normally not very big, 25 to 40 kilos. Occasionally we get the bigger ones, 80 to 100, and they'll really show uh, our light tackle up. We normally only use about 10 kilo gear, so if you catch an 80 or 100, it's gonna really show you um, what it's made of. So stick with us as we chase light tackle billfish from small boats. Barges and uh, cyclone moorings like this are really good places to pick up some live bait if you're going uh, billfishing. So we're gonna have a little bit of a pull up here, um, use some little bait chaser rigs, and hopefully pick up some nice liveys. These are the sort of little baits we're trying to catch. Um, they're sort of like yellowtail or yakkers down south. Um, doesn't take too long to normally pick up a, enough of them for a day's uh, fishing. So as I say, around the, uh, the cyclone moorings, uh, channel markers and the like, you'll probably pick up some good bait. So um, give it a try. It's um, a, a really good way to pick up uh, light tackle bill fishing and stuff. So we'll get these in the live bait tank and hopefully go and catch a few fish. The rods and reels that I use up in uh, Damp here for chasing sailies and small black marlin um, are basically Shimano TLD series. I like the 20. It holds about five or 600 metres of 10 kilo line and the, uh, the matching Beastmaster rod that comes with it um, really gives you a good budget outfit. For about 350 bucks, you can uh, get one of these outfits and they're a good all-round rod and reel. You can use them for trolling, for mackies, uh, bottom bouncing. Um, just an all-round good rod. They're nice and light. You don't get uh, too tired using them uh, all day. And uh, the drags on them are great. I used them on my charter boat um, for a long time and uh, if they can handle uh, customers and, and some of the stuff that they do I'm sure it'll last you a lifetime. Here's a couple of the rigs I use when I'm uh, solo bill fishing. Um, because I'm trying to cover a bit of ground I tend to use lures um, but I like to sweeten them up with uh, a couple of them with um, guardies and um, this one's a um, got a 10-0 um, saltwater fly a little uh, pin rig with a spring that you just wind on and uh, holds the, uh, the bait firmly in place at, at its beak and then you slip the lure over the top. The other one's a, um, a little pusher and just running a couple of little 10 saltwater flies in that. Um, only using 10 kilo lines so I don't want to go too big in hooks and they're a fairly fine gauge so they work quite well. Um, the other things that you need, you need to have handy is a a glove for billing the fish and a pair of pliers obviously for removing the hook. On my rod bucket I tie a, a lanyard and that gets attached to the uh, the kill switch on the motor. So yeah, if I'm unfortunate enough to uh, fall overboard while I'm billing a sailfish, 
Um, hopefully the motor kicks um, you know, turns off and I can swim back to the boat, get back in. Obviously by yourself, you know, safety's got to be a bit of a priority. So uh, make sure you look after yourself, make it compulsory that you um, attach to the, uh, the kill switch. The same as if you were on a jet ski or something like that. Obviously it makes life um, a lot easier for yourself if you have to get back to the boat and not, after, you know, not having a swim after a boat that's doing three or four knots. One thing that you should never uh, be short of on the boat is rod holders. My little 15 footer here has eight rod holders in the uh, gunnels, two in the bait board and three in the little T-top. Um, you can never have too many on board. The, the main reason is that you can get the rods out of the way once you get a hook up and you can put the rods up the front out of the way. Also when you're drifting for, um, for billfish using live baits you can spread the rods out a little bit further depending on how the drift pattern is. It's also really good when you're up the creeks chasing barra. The more rod holders you got, the better. Oh, I'm puffing. Just had a strike, I think it's a small marlin. I'm fishing by myself. I've had to uh, clear two other rods and my teaser. And now I've got to try and go and catch it. It did some magic jumps. Uh, I've probably got about 250 metres of line out though because I'm doing it by myself. So I'm going to have to sign off and see if I can get some back and hopefully get it on film when we get it closer. Catch you after. Unfortunately, the hook's pulled out. Got far too much line out, a lot of slack on it while I was doing it. Couldn't keep the tension. So I missed my first marlin solo. Bummer. Onto a nice big sailfish, solo. Really hard to try and film and remove all the gear. Still on the fish. Hopefully we can get it in. It's a bit awkward. This is a nice big sail. I'm hoping we can get it up and get a shot of it. Uh, about as big as they get up here is normally around the 30 to 35 kilo. This is looking as good as that. It's a pretty big fish. There's me sailfish. Absolutely beautiful. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Came up on a couple of lures and I just switch baited it. Just flicked out a little guardie on the uh, on the circle hook and uh, hooked up. It's got a little bit of a deformed bill this one. It's uh, going to be a bit hard to grab hold of and get him get the hook out I think. Well that's it. Solo sailfish. Nice, nice big fish, but I'm absolutely stuffed. Don't know how many of those I could do by myself every day. I'd have to get into some training, I think. Oh, what a magic fish.